Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam with Cape Fear Collectibles. Today we are going to be opening a Dominaria United Collector Booster Box. Uh, it's the 30th anniversary of Magic, so they decided that they were going to put some, uh, what is it, Legends cards in the Collector Booster packs. Uh, the little story that they decided to say was that they found a warehouse full of them, which is obviously not true, but I don't know, cut them a little bit of slack. They're trying to make a fun story with it, I guess. Um, oh yeah, these come with a box stopper. We'll check that out at the end. Um, I forget what the pool rate is for the, the uh, Legends cards, but it's very low. It's like, I think it's less than 3%. Um, and it's not guaranteed to be anything. It could just be a common that's not worth anything. Uh, but anyway, before we get started, just a reminder to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Help support our channel. Uh, we're trying to do some more content creation on our YouTube and Twitch channels, so uh, all the support definitely helps with that. Uh, anyway, let's crack them open and see what we get. Definitely, Ooh. these are a little tough. Um, definitely stick for the stained glass cards. I uh, was a big fan of the secret layer stained glass cards, um, and I really like the artwork um, in the stained glass style. Uh, I'm gonna go fairly slow for the first couple packs, and then we'll start speeding it up so people can see what they came here to see, the rares and mythics. Uh, I do like to check out the art though of all the cards at the beginning. That's the main reason for the box opening. Um, I've looked at some of the prices of the cards, but my main thing here is just checking out the artwork. Ooh, and there they are. That is pretty nice looking. Um, I, I don't know if I like I think I like these more than the Kamigawa lands. Um, they're close, I really enjoyed those, but that just looks really cool. Uh, there's another stained glass card. Try to pick that up. The effect of that. First rare, Defiler of Instinct. And then we got a Keldon Flame Sage. Full art. Ooh, that's really cool looking. Tura Kinnerud Sky Knight. With the stained glass treatment. And there's our first etched foil. Jasmine Boreal of the Seven. That's pretty cool looking artwork right there. A little moose action. And there's our stained glass treatment, the rare slot. King Darien well, XLV. Three, what is that, 10, I don't even, I'm not even gonna try to guess. And there's our full art, Cave of Kolos. Very nice. Yeah, that artworks, that's really cool looking. And, ooh, there we go. Got our first foil full art. Uh, Carplusen Forest, Carplusen, that sounds about right. And our soldier token, slash goblin token. Cool. I like the artwork so far. And these packs are hard to open. But we'll see if we, we hit that tabernacle on stream. That'd be crazy. I'll, I doubt we'll open any uh, anything from the legends, but you never know. Weave Crusher, Thrill, Vanilla Sleeper, that works pretty cool. I'm really stoked to draft this. Um, I really enjoyed OG Dominaria draft, and I'm hoping this will be a good draft set, because, ooh, very nice. Man, those are nice looking. Yeah, I, I definitely like those a lot. Uh, 
Erte resurrected. Some stained glass artwork right there. Plaza of Heroes foil full art. Or not regular art, sorry. Briar Hydra. I think, is that the commander spot? I'm not sure. Is that, looks, the, looks the same to me. Another core sadistic pilgrim. And uh, there's the, that's got to be the commander slot. Ramirez de Par Pietro Collegier. Sounds about right. There. Stained glass rare, Nameta Primeval Warden. Very cool looking. Oh, another stained glass. Soul of Wind Grease. Mythic stained glass. Very cool. Ooh, that's so nice looking. Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. Man, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to probably be collecting a lot of this set, I think, because I really like those stained glass cards. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Throne of Eldraine, which I really enjoyed. And I'm very stoked to hear that they're going to be going back to Eldraine next year. Definitely looking forward to that. All right, let's start going through these commons and uncommons a little bit faster for you guys. Micromancer. Ooh, and there's a swamp. We've gotten to see one of each so far. Very cool. Definitely think I like the island so far the best. But that could change. Already seen that one. The Elder Dragon War, our first saga. Very cool. Defiler of Flesh. Oh, wow. That is pretty sweet. Uh, and then we got Nael uh, Avizoa, Avizoa, Aeronaut, sounds about right. Another Stained Glass, and ooh, an etched commander card, Tor Waki the Younger. Very nice. And ooh, a Mythic Etched, Torsten, Founder of Benalia. That's a commander card too, I think. Huh, interesting. And then we got Maria, Mariah, Scholar of Antiquity for the Stained Glass Rear. And another land, Adarkar Wastes. That's kind of boring looking, not much going on there. And another token. I was contemplating opening the case just to see if we hit some kind of crazy Legends card. Yeah, I like that Negate artwork. Um, but I did look at some of the prices, and so far it doesn't seem like anything's crazy, but we all know how MTG guard prices like to change within the first week or two, so I'm not sure. Saga. Ah, sweet. I'm going to see one of each so far. We're just missing the forest now. That's very nice, too. Hmm. Can't tell. I'm up between the mountain and the swamp, I think, so far. Some more stained glass. Leaf crowned visionary for the foil rare. And our first commander card. I think, yep, that's a commander. Two headed hell kite. Very cool. And another stained glass. And a foil etched General Marholt Elves Dragon. And another foil etched Ohabi Kalaraya. Kalaraya? Sounds right. Ooh, that's cool looking. The Raven Man. Stained glass foil. Silverback Elder. Ooh, that's really cool looking. Man, that looks great. Mythic Shaman. And a separately token slash power stone. Yeah, if I don't if I don't freak out because of a card I opened, it's probably because I don't know if it's worth anything yet. But we're gonna start speeding up a little bit here. Shot. Oh, huh. 
What do you know? A forest. That also looks really nice. Man, these look so good. Yeah, it's a toss-up between mountain, forest, and island, I think. I'm not sure what I'll decide yet. Hey, there's Squee, Dubious Monarch. Very cool. But yeah, that's an etched foil. Rare. There. Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. Ooh, a dragon. That's pretty cool looking. Bladewing Deathless Tyrant for the commander slot. Ooh, wow, that's really cool. Stained Glass Lagamos Hand of Hatred. Very cool. And Jasmine, we've already seen that one. It's the Stained Glass, the etched foil version. Um, Tetsuo, Imperial Champion, Human Samurai, etched foil. Very cool. And another king, a bunch of numbers. Astor, Bear of Blades. Very cool. And a bird. Hmm. So far, I definitely am enjoying the artwork. Like I said, that's kind of the main point of this video, is just to check out the artwork. Phoenix chick. <laughs> cool. And there's another island. Danitha Banalia's Hope. Very cool. That's an etched foil right there. And Defiler of Faith, foil rare. Iridian Maelstrom. Destroy each creature that isn't all colors. Well, that's probably going to be most of them, most of the time. Another stained glass card. Very cool. Etched foil. And Ayasha Tanaka Armor for the commander card. And Shana Purifying Blade for the mythic uh, stained glass treatment. Ooh, that's really cool. The Fiber of Vigor. Yeah, that artwork's really cool. And our soldier token. Alright, how many we got left? This one and then five more, I think. I'm getting through them. This is definitely more enjoyable to open than uh, Streets was, I think. Alright. Ooh, that's cool. Another mountain. A stained glass spot. Yama, Maya Coast. Very nice artwork. Just for the regular foil. Lanawar Loam Speaker. I think this is going to be the buy box promo that we're going to get. Some more stained glass. Commander. Xira the Golden Sting, little bee lady, fancy bee lady, for the etched foil commander card. Rata Brabic of Urborg. I think this one's up there. I can't remember. I think I saw this one being kind of expensive uh, for the stained glass. Archangel of Wrath. Very cool. For the extended art rare. I always get those. Those are extended arts, right? Full arts are a, are a different thing. We haven't seen full arts in a while. All right. Do these commons and uncommons. An island. Haven't seen that stained glass yet. Very cool. Ooh, first planeswalker. Jaya Fiery Negotiator for the foil mythic. And Thrunt's Undetected, Extended Art. Here's our stained glass card. Etched foil. Hey, there's another squee, just without being foil. Hey, speaking of Jaya, she's in both packs. So if anybody's actually still listening, uh, we had a little technical glitch. Uh, my 
lapel mic ran out of power about five minutes left with the video so instead of uh scrapping the whole thing and doing another box opening i figured i could just do a uh, voiceover for uh the remainder of the video which will hopefully save me some time and uh opening an entire another box um I think the quality of the video um, is a little, little bit better than the uh, some of the previous ones. I really tried to make sure I got the lighting uh, a little bit better. Um, I'd like to start filming in our front play space because I think the lighting up there is a little bit better, but um, the only time I could really do that is uh, when we're closed and I just wanted to get the video out. Uh, Sooner than later, just so everybody can check it out. And the longer you wait, the more the YouTube gets flooded with these. So, um, but I think the quality is uh, reasonable. The audio, I think, was a little bit better. Uh, obviously, this is going to sound uh, better with uh, a mic hooked directly to a PC. Um, but yeah, that looked pretty good right there. The foils are showing up pretty good without too much glare. Um, but yeah, I really like the uh, the stained glass artwork. Um, the foil version obviously shows it off a lot better than the non-foils. Um, but yeah, man, that looks really cool. A lot of the artwork is really cool in the set. Um, even, you know, I was, I was trying to go through the commons and uncommons is, you know, at a reasonable pace. But sometimes I get held up with, uh, yeah, man, that looks so cool. Uh, I got held up a little bit with some of the artwork because I wanted to check it out. And like I said, that's what the, the main purpose of this video is for, is just checking out the artwork. Like, that looks really great. Um, the art style is kind of interesting, too. A lot of these are kind of more of that uh, realistic um, uh, art style. Ramsey Lord. Huh, new assassin. I don't see too many assassins in... Uh, Man, look at that cutting, though. I noticed after I went back through the uh, some of the cards, a lot of the a lot of them come out light play. I mean, on, honestly, if we're gonna uh, talk about the condition of the cards right out of the pack, I mean, you can see in those corners, a lot of them are like kind of got a little bit of white marks, and a lot of them have like cutting uh, on the, around the edges have those like uh, white marks from where they were cut. Um, the foil lands look really sweet. I was stoked with that. And that, like I said, the stained glass stuff looks really cool. Zer. That's, uh, that's the one that, uh, Post Malone got his car or his likeness put into, I guess. Was that a one of, or did they just, uh, or is that a, like a card you can get, or was that just fake? Maybe it was just some fake thing I saw, or that somebody made. Braids of Risen Nightmare. I think that's worth some money. I haven't checked any of the prices. That's really cool looking there. I think we saw the foil version of that. Benali is less hoop. That card's pretty good. Yeah, man. That artwork is really good. It's super cool looking. Definitely gonna like the style in this set. And the last pack. I don't even remember what was in this. I'm about to find out, though. Yeah, man. I really like... I really like the artwork in this set. There's another forest. Rada Warlord. Man, I forget. I'm so bad with Roman numerals, I have no idea how much that is. I haven't seen that one yet. Obelisk. Yeah, man, that stained glass looks good. Another commander card. Another etched foil. I'm not sure about the etched foils in these. They're kind of hard to pick up, even off camera. Oh yeah, that's right. You got the Dragon Master etched foil. That'll probably be going in some dragon deck. Or wait, destroy all non-dragon? Yeah, that's going to be in some dragon decks. And our last extended art foil. And a sapling token. Oh yeah, box topper. I won't spoil it, even though I already know what it is. I was excited, but 
and disappointing. Wah, wah. I didn't know. I thought they were gonna all be like some kind of special treatment card, but it does not seem to be the case. Especially in a collector booster, that's kind of like weak. Um, and we obviously didn't see any cards from Legends. Um, I was half tempted to open a case. See if we can hit one. Squee. I like that foil. That one looked look good. But, all in all, not a bad video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're trying to do some more content. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing a pre-release primer, open some pre-release kits, build decks, play a few rounds, and uh, let you guys uh, check it out. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.